to the brothers who are pushing this truth all across the globe and uh, salutation you know shalom to the Akiaf, I mean the Akiam and the Akwafiam who are you know in this truth in sincerity all right so today we're going to um, the title of this lesson will be it is high time to wise up in this truth, okay, and the old man will cause the destruction of the unrepentant, of the unrepentant. All right, so we're gonna go through the spirit. We're gonna go through. I got, I got, I got some note. You know, we're gonna build up the church, man. So that's, that's all we can do. You know. So when I say it is time to wise up, and because we have to wise up. Man. We have to wise up at the end of the day. Our enemy is getting ready to come on us. At the end of the day, the prophecies, you know, are getting ready to pass, man, to come through. All right, they're getting ready to come through. So we have to be ready, man. No matter what little situation we may have, we have to get ready. Like they say in the street. Don't let anyone trick you out of your spot. Don't get caught in the field, man. Don't be letting certain emotion get you away from the purpose, man. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to get rid of the old man. If you don't get rid of the old man, it's gonna be a problem. So you gotta let it no matter what. Okay? Now this is Habakkuk, chapter two and verse two. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, right. that he may run that read of it. That Bless he me. may run that read of it, man. Verse 3, for the vision is yet going up for a time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right, so we all know that. We see even these years, you know, we see you know, one element of the prophecy coming to pass. All right, the the dome to the to, to the markets, the dome to the MTB MLT, were manifested. So if you're in the spirit, you will know. Amongst other things, like the dome of the the the, 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 the third world, you know, talking about Russia and, and, and Ukraine. So we ought to be spiritually ready to see what's going on and get ready for the flood that's coming, man. Because when the flood came in uh, no more time. You know, when the flood came in 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 in, in Amos in uh, in, in Noah time, 
they took all people. Only those who were, you know, programmed not to be taken were saved, man. So we cannot play with these things, no matter what. Um, you know? <clears throat> Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. Right. Not tarry. Right. Though it though it tarry, wait for it, man. Don't be caught up in, you know, the 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 sack the circus of this shoot. Because the shoot has a circus too. You know, go out, do the work, you know, the politics and the this and the that. But the behind the scenes, you know, things that politics that are going on. But at the end of the day, huh, you're gonna have to make sure that you know you focus on what's important. That's why if a brother offend me, I'm gonna have to forgive you. And if I offend the brother, I hope the brother will forgive me because you're gonna have to be focused on that. You know? But the negarism, we left that in the world. So we need truth. But what the devil will do that, it will bring the negarism back in back in fashion. And it's up to you to uproot it from your system, from your you know environment, you know, from your ministry, you know, because the most I will activate the angels very soon, man. That's true. That's true. I'm glad also as well. This is like this is nothing. This this all the stuff happening behind the scenes. This is really nothing. That's why it's going to come. It's going to be way more intense than right. the stuff that's happening. Man. That, to be honest, that's petty. So this is just like you know little things, man. Like when I wake up in the morning, sometimes most of the time I don't think about certain things. You know, my mind is focused on a lot of things. You know, imagine you got children, you have to wake up and go to work and feed them. You don't have time to worry about little things. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? But the Bible says, man that cannot take care of his family is worse than the living. It's just an example to say, like, there's more important things than the living. You know? And when the most I give you this ministry, it's more important thing. You know? And when the most I give you this ministry, that's a business. That's the business of the Lord. That's more important, man. But you gotta be able, you know, to to, 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 to handle it. And the way to handle it is to get rid of the old man. So you have something to bring, my life. Yeah. Bring out, bring it out, man. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Yeah. Therefore rejoice, right. ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Mm -hmm. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. That's right. Right, he know that he have a short time. So right now, you know, the time is really counting, man. When you count it, the time is really like already, you know, accomplished in the spirit, you know, where it's gonna manifest, man. So it's up to us to really, really understand that behind the scene as well, on the left hand side, the devil is plotting against us, man. Someone is plotting against you as you speak. Someone is plotting against the man of the Lord as you speak. And believe me, you me, they know who is real and they know who is fake. Because you know why? They do what you call um, demon summon. It's called, I believe, Gurf. Gurf is like where they get in a circle so, some time in the night. And then they find the spirit. And then the spirit will tell them who is who. You know? They know, man. Trust me, they know. They know who they're going to come for. They know who is weak, who is a joker. They know. They even know who they can corrupt. That's how they were able to corrupt certain camp in the truth. Because they're they consulting the spirit who knows all things, man. I mean, not all things, but knows the law. And I wouldn't say that they know all things. All right, so bring it out, man. Um, okay, so this is the book of... Um, uh, this is um, 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Bring that up. Be sober. Be vigilant. Hey, be sober. Be vigilant. In this truth, man, you gonna have to be Look, this truth is like a mafia, like a street. Yeah. Not in a way, like a carnal way, but in a spiritual sense of it, where you've got, you know, have to be careful, man. You gotta be wise, you gotta know what you're doing out here, man. You gotta watch your back. Be sober, meaning, the, I'm not talking about watch your back against a brother, obviously, yes, but spiritually, because you got demon, that wants to get you. 
they will bring a woman, they will bring what you love, they will bring certain elements that you used to love in the world to tempt you. Yeah. So you gotta be sober. You gotta be sober in order for you to be circumspect and see what's coming. I'm so sure that we're sober, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm sure that we're sober, man. And also vigilant as well. Well, I can't have anything on it. Go Google and tap sober and read it. We're gonna, we're gonna go into sober and vigilant. Go to Google and tap sober and you go to definition and definition and read it. I'm gonna go to the root word, the word sober, the root word. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Come on, you can the definition of it. Alright, yeah, we get the definition of it. And uh, it says, um, moderate desires, action, temperate, restraint, abstain from strong drink. You see that? Restraint, man. Yeah. No, no, that's good. Restraint, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be a stoic. To be sober is to be stoic. Yeah. The term stoic is to like endure pain without complaining. Meaning, Something you want to do but you cannot do because in order for you to be sober, you have to refrain from certain distraction. Another one says a serious minded person. See, serious minded person. Look, there yeah, as a guy, John, uh, what's his name? Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti is a rapper, like that's under Jay Z, right? Yo, yeah, Yo Gotti. So they asked him, they were like, why don't you smoke and drink? And he's like, 50 cents is the same thing as well. I can't smoke and drink because I gotta be aware of my environment. Because I've got a big enterprise, so I gotta know what's going on. When you drink and you smoke, you tend to be, you don't see what's going on around you. You're too like, oh God, like, you relax. You lose focus. You're sleeping. And like they say, don't get caught sleeping. It's the same thing. Don't get caught sleeping in this room. Same emotion can deter you from being sober. If you hate a brother so much that you can't control yourself to the point where you're now doing things to get to him, instead of focusing on. And even though that's the art of war, too, you know. People. In, in the world, they can do something to you just so that you can be every time angry, angry, angry. And when you're angry, you're not at your best. You're sharp. You're not sharp when you're angry. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So this, this, this truth is a school, man. So school, carry on. Uh, the still got it. Yeah, it's sober. Oh, yeah. yeah. Still got to read it. Now read it. Oh, oh you got vision Yeah, yeah. Read it. Okay. According to the dictionary, yeah. sober uh -huh. means not a, means not to be affected by alcohol. Yeah. Or drunk. Uh -huh. Number two. Uh -huh. And I want to say that it's not to be affected by alcohol. Now yeah. we know that um, these doctrines are like strange right. uh, wine. Like, these are strong drink, man. Yeah. They can intoxicate you, man. So yeah. to be so you gotta be serious and be, not, not be affected by these different um, yeah. philosophies, man. Like um, uh, believing the immaculate conception, right. uh, reincarnation. Right. You know like, all these different things that like, you don't believe. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you don't mind having to get me say. Yeah. You gotta be aware, you can't be unconscious of the wine, man. But yeah, go ahead, man. You want to be, be serious, be sensible, and solid. Uh, and also. Oh, to be what? Read that again. Number two. Sober also means to be serious. Serious. Sensible. Sensible. Solemn. Solemn. And, uh, and uh, uh, a quote means, meaning a sober view of life. So you see things from what they are. You're realistic. You're not a la la land. You know, for example, someone are sober, and like someone tell you I love you. The sober guy will say, I'm not gonna just you know rely on what he say. I'm gonna rely on what he does. Action. Action. I got, I got the word you know um, vigilant. The word vigilant means watchful. Watchful, you know? So you gotta watch, you know, certain individual in life in this truth you gotta watch it in pattern of people that's how you're sober in this truth you know but you can be beguiled especially when you come in this truth you're not really armed you're not really armed with wisdom like that you have a certain wisdom coming from this world but you don't understand the wisdom wisdom man people can use that and manipulate you so you gotta be wise man yeah, yeah. he even um he saw himself he doesn't follow flat comments together. 
disguises himself as an angel of God. So, so he's the, the reason why is because he's gonna, if he shows himself to be the devil blatantly, you're gonna indicate and obviously know. But if he disguises himself, it's gonna be hard to figure out. I will show you some, let me show you some, an example of how someone like this drunk and mini, someone that's not sober can be getting. So you go, guys, very good at manipulation. Yeah. He can't <laughs> give you gifts. You know, you know, what's up, man? Give me some money, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not with you, bro. You're my bro, what's up? I'll just give you an example of someone yeah, yeah, yeah. that can manipulate people. Yeah, yeah. You know, man, you know, I love you, everything like that. So, now you got an issue with the brother. What he does is that, he's like, yo, man, this brother is this, this brother is that, this brother is this, the brother is gossip, you know. And then what happens is that you see the brother, that's your brother, you see him as something else. Why they teach him, man? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, go on. Another one says, anxious. That's anxious. Anxious, yeah, careful. Careful. It says, um, to watch, yeah, keep awake. Yeah. To watch, keep, you have to be awake in this truth, man. You cannot let people put you to sleep by smooth words. You know what I'm saying? Not like to that. sleep. Not to sleep. Don't get caught sleeping, like you said earlier. Yeah. Also, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Gotta be aware of your environment. You gotta be circumspect. That's right, that's right. You gotta know what's going on, man. You gotta study people. How do you study people? Their patterns. I remember that. See, their patterns. Over them to pill over cells. Says be watchful. Over them to pill over cells. Be watchful. So to be watchful. Over them to pill over cells. Why do you not over them to pill over cells? Pull up, cells. Hey, hey, You know that's the second time you've done that. Hey, man, yum, yum. So, awake. read that again, awake. So you gotta be aware. Look, when you're with people, you gotta watch their patterns. There's a pattern that follow each, each one of us. This is how you know someone that's a hypocrite. This is how you know someone that's proud. This is how you know so on and so forth, man. Don't, the word is just, like I said, talk is cheap. Just watch out how certain things, the action, how to move. Sometimes they're very, very slick. But if you're careful, you will find, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna find out. To be strong. To be strong, man. Don't let yourself be easily, you know, uh, persuaded, man. Yes, my brother. You know? Yes, my brother. Uh, be lively. Be lively, man. Okay? Lively means lively. Someone that's lively, meaning in French you say beef. See in the ghetto, yeah. when you steal weed, you gotta be lively. Now yeah. if you're not lively, you don't get caught sick. I got another one, the definition of what this is, it says, carefully observing. Carefully observing, you gotta, you gotta be analytical. That's why when people talk to you, sometimes it's good to take time to listen. Yeah. And sometimes we all fail, we all fail to do that, which is true. But you gotta listen to, to when you listen to them, you will pinpoint, you will see where they're saying the great same areas. thing, the gray areas. Where did they use manipulation tactics and that? You'll find out, man. Or attentive. Or oh, attentive, so you pay attention, man. And this to is the everything. Point right here. On the lookout for possible danger. On the lookout for possible, possible danger. danger. Possible, you know. All right? Because, you know, sometimes you might be around, you know, brothers or, you know, at work or family yeah. and that. Yeah. And you don't see. Because the serpent don't come sh like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The serpent always goes through the grass, coil, you know, all through to the grass to get you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's never obvious. Yeah. It's true. It's true. You know, that's what I say. I watch it. I watch it like uh, the lockdown series, like people in jail in America, yeah. Netflix. And then this guy was you know, like, oh, you know, I'm in jail right now. I gotta, I gotta get out of this place. Once, once I come out, because they were trying to get me killed. Now we get me killed. He say, my own guy, my own guy that I have to grow up with everything, he's he wanna kill me. And he say, love will get you killed. And he love will get you killed. When you're too lovey dovey, meaning like you're too open, people come and they money. Man, they're gonna they're gonna finish you before you know it, man. Don't be sober. You gotta watch for, for patterns, watch for personality traits, watch for thinker. Let me tell you something in life, yeah. You always meet the same same set of people. Like when I came in this country, I was sitting there, I was like, this guy reminds me of my cousin. This guy reminds me of my you know of, of my uncle. Oh, this guy of my childhood friend. Set set you will see the same three people. And it's easy, like, oh this guy has the same trick like this guy that that backstabbed me, you know. This guy moved like the guy that backstabbed me, you know. 
I gotta be careful. You see? So we go off to be careful, man. You got more? And that was also known as number one for Soba. It's business night. Business night. That means you have to listen, this thing is a business. You have to conduct this shoot as a business. Yes. Now I'll give you an example. This is how you connect. When you have a business, people come and you employ them. What do you do? You sign a contract. But if you want to go sneaky, you go sign the contract, you go, oh, don't worry, I got you. And before you know it, you go, people go in and come back to you. So in this shoe, you got to be true. You got to be good. You got to be, you know, everything on the table and transparent. You got to speak the truth. You got to be about the business of your father. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Alpha as well is serious minded. Pragmatic. Pragmatic, man. Sensible, thoughtful, severe. Right. Level hey, severe, man. Dignified. Severe. And the guy who the took goes the, on. the guy who really the emperor, the black emperor of Rome, Septimus Severus. Severus, Severus comes from the term severe. Severe in French. Someone that's serious. Yeah, so strict. Yeah. In order for him to take on this in my kingdom. He had to be severe. There's another term for that. Uh, no, there's another name for that. Austere. You gotta be austere. You gotta be strict, man. Eh? Talking about austere, I'd like to go into something quickly. Get yeah, Proverbs 27 and 5. Proverbs 27 and 5, man. Let's read that quickly. Man. Okay. Oh, I, I got a piece of powerful one here. Before you read it, says that. Titus 2 and 7. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. Right. A pattern. So, in, in the way you deal with people, in the way you do for you, you yeah. always got to be strict. You gotta, I, I always have to be real. Right. You know, the snaky way yeah, is right, not. Right. Right. Huh? Yeah, right. A pattern, you know. A pattern of good. And then, no, this is the point. This is the point, my life. This is the point. It says, it says, in doctrine. In doctrine. Showing uncorruptness. Yes. Verity, sincerity, right. uncorruptness. You know? So you right. can't corrupt the doctrine, man. That's you can't corrupt serious. the doctrine. You can't be corrupted. You can't go like that. Because the most I'm going to reveal all things. That's why you have to be careful, man. The most I will reveal all things, man. You know? You can, you, can, you can do things for a while, but after that, it's going to reveal it. It's going to expose you, man. You know? It's going to expose you. So, let, have you got it? That's powerful, man. That's powerful, man. That's powerful. Just Bring that out, man. Proverbs. Because Proverbs. we don't want to be corrupted, so we're going to be real, man. Okay. Proverbs 27 and 2, man. <coughs> who was doctrine, you know? the doctrine. You have to keep it in the You have to keep it in like 100%. Yeah. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Proverbs oh, what? 27. Yeah. Chapter 27, verse uh -huh. 5. Uh -huh. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Okay? So I got a little note that I read, you know, I wrote. I'm a bit of a, of a writer, oh, yeah. if, I, if I want to. But he said, this society has moulded us into, into not accepting, accepting the truth. We've been so immersed by the Greek or Roman Christianity that an honest admonishing is viewed as disrespectful. The modern day Christian love consists of not telling the brother that he is wrong, but instead telling the brother not to worry and that God is love. The Bible secret, that's what it, the biblical secret love. You know, that's what it means, secret love. For the simple fact that it is not a real form of love. In 
all actuality, the tabernacle of David is structured in a way to turn the elect into an honorable and humble men who accept constructive criticism and who don't mind a true brother that will wholeheartedly steer him into the right direction. Indeed, Yahweh uses men to help other men grow. So never be offended when he puts someone who has the ability to do such things. In fact, it is a blessing that not everyone in this truth has. So in order for you to grow in this truth, you're going to need a body of people that are ready to check you in order for you to grow. If you don't have that, what's going to happen is that the old man will solidify itself and at some point you'll be, you'll be not be able, all right, to fight the demon. You'll be stuck in, in, in the corrupt ways, man. Right? So that's the encouragement, man. You know, because we have to prepare us for what's coming. At the end of the day, Yahweh is a judge. And when he comes, he will check all of that. He will have like a list of things. Check, check, cross. Cross, cross, and then we're going to have a meeting. Say, the brother check is more than the cross. Put a put a thawal in. Put a protection. Let's go to the next one. Cross, cross, check, cross, 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 check. Too many crosses. All right. Destruction. But Yahweh, Yahweh is a judge. But when you read Ezekiel nine and four and six, it clearly tells you that he gave the command to the angel to go and clean houses, man. Right. That's they say, they have their clean house, meaning like judgment. Because the house cleaning has come. Yes, yes, we right. gotta prepare ourselves. Yes, right. That's inevitable, man. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna read all, you know, I was gonna ask them to ask them, judgment will begin at the house of the Of course, man, do your thing, man. Want me to read something as well? Yeah, I'll read you this one, yeah? This first Peter to the five verse eight. Right. Be sober, be vigilant, right? Because your adversary, the your devil, adversary, the devil. And we know who the devil is. The devil is the, 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 I mean, the evil mind man, yeah. and also the two third yeah. that are in business with him, right. and right. also obviously Eve that yeah. are in bed with Esau, right. and all those other nations. That's okay? right. And also the demons, That's the spiritual right. demons That's right. that you don't see. That's right. Okay, that work every day for you to be, you know, jacked up. That's right. Yep. As a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Seeking, seeking whom he may devour. So the, the devil trying to devour you, man. And he, he uses drugs, he uses money, he uses the fashion of this world. That's right. He uses it on your, your personal ambitions. That's right. He uses a woman. You know, he uses pride. You know, greed, greed. He uses all these elements, man, to get you. So you, got, you have to be sober, man. And it should provide a way for you to be sober. That's if you really follow the lane or the line the right way. Because there's only one way, you know. When you wrote the second, is it second edge or second edge or seven? Or is it rock seven? That talks about, you know, the, the only way. Only one way. There's water and fire each side. If you jump here, you water, you jump there, you fire. So you, gotta, you have to walk like that. You can't cheat in this truth, man. In this truth, you can't cheat. It's only a matter of time. You know, and what's more dangerous is that Yahweh is a long-suffering God. I mean, he will take time with you. To the point where you forget that you're sinning. And then boom, it's coming one morning and get that. Oh, you're looking for that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know that one. That's one of my favorite pieces, the pieces as well. You know? Uh, uh, this, 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 this guy gonna be destroyed. All these chains are gonna be destroyed. All those ones I don't wanna, you know, listen to the word, I don't wanna change. Every the time coming, most are gonna destroy them. Yeah, you have mercy on those who are saying to try. You ain't gonna have mercy on people that don't want to try. I know you love your I love my people, you think I don't love my people? No, 
city, boy. But you gotta be, you gotta be cool like a reptile. Hey, there's gonna be a lot. Of, hey, Noah, when he was inside the ark, man, he wanted his people to come in, but the Lord shut the door, man. Yeah. You know. The most, the most I might get you killed. Look, Moses. Moses got impatient. But he was so lucky he wanted the water to come out because he he thinking, the my people, my people, my people need to my people need to drink. Yeah. The love of your own people can get you fucked up, man. Excuse me, my French. Real shit, man. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So, you, so, you, so you, you, you have to learn to be cold. And being cold doesn't mean that you don't love people. Yeah. Being cold it means that you're street. Yeah. You're about to, imagine if, if, if uh, 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 no one was trying to fight. God say, no, let them come in. Now I'm like, push no one in the water. Go and use the sun to be open. Bring that out. This is First Peter, chapter four, verse seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Damn. So the time has come that judgment must be begin in the house of the house. Okay. And, and if it and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them? Right. That obey not the gospel of Yahweh. So there's three levels to it. First level, the, 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 the Israelite house, meaning the one who claim to be in the truth. Most are gonna come and clean houses. Second level, or second stage, the two third, they will clean. And the third one, the last part of the Vedat of the Baal, the other nation. So he will go every element. Will be, will be visited by the fire. And that's a rhetorical question. Right. right. Because really, um, the end of the sinner is, is a destruction. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So, the most high is going to clean house, man. And, you know, begins with the ones that are inside the faith. Man. Uh, the ones with the that ones that are inside the faith. So, you have to take this, this work seriously. Obviously, you know, a trainer, when he, when he starts, he's not as good at it. Ease when he started a few years ago, but because he never gave up and he always tried to be good and be better, he became better. So in this truth, you're gonna to have to, to take the same approach and be better, man. You gotta have, you have to, you have to be confident. You have to be strong as well. Where when people trying to get to you, you don't care, man. You just do your thing as long as you know that you're right. But all you did is spoke the truth, you know. All you did is spoke the truth, man. All right. So we gonna carry on. Are you, are you done with that? Yeah. All right. So let's go to Roman 11 and 7, man. You know, the election. You know? Hey, this truth is a blessing. This truth is a blessing. And cool. even in this truth as well, there is a level. You know? Uh -huh. There is a level, man. Why do you think, you know, Amalek will go and, and, and be able to persuade other brothers, that's the truth, you know, to do his bidding? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let's bring that Roman 11 and 7. You know? Oh, fuck. Let's bring that out, man. Let's bring the word, man. <coughs> you know? Okay. Let's bring the word. You ready? Yeah. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Right. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. Right, so... You got, you know, people in this truth. I mean, people ask out the truth. They come around sometimes. They look at us, they listen, and then they go because they cannot understand it. Yeah. You got brother that go on YouTube, they can check this Israelite thing and cannot understand it. Why? Because the most I didn't give it to them. Then you got brothers that are seeing the truth, you know, they woke up, but they don't get the depth of the, of, of the truth. So they will follow false doctrine, or they will conduct the way in a way that I mean themselves in a way that doesn't glorify Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So read that again. That's why. That's what he means. Man. Yeah. You know. So read that again. Man. Okay. This is Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. Right. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right. But the election have obtained it. But the election has obtained it. So those who are elected, because you can be a walking issue, meaning you know that you're Hebrew Israelite, and then boom, 
You know there are Hebrew Israelites, right? but you know, it's not it's not happening after you go and form. We finish it off though. As the rest moving like a wise man. As the rest were blinded. And the rest were blinded, man. So certain certain thing you won't get even like you got a group like GMS. GMS they got it, man. And you got certain group that they ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? And but, you, but I'm, not, I'm not saying that in those other groups there's no there's no there's none of the elect. But I'm just saying in general, GMS is the one that really were blessed. That, and that's, that's spiritual blessing. Man. So I've got a little note, okay? So I'm gonna read again regarding that. And it's this, right? Say the elect have obtained it, right? Just because you woke up and then make you of the elect. An elect is a special breed who has truly grasped the depth of this truth and who really embraces the pain that comes with metamorphosis. I want us to go into metamorphosis. Yeah, let's read it. Let's let's educate the people. Let's educate ourselves. We gotta embrace metamorphosis. I am gonna go to Google and type in the word metamorphosis. Okay, so um, the word metamorphosis. A great change in appearance or character. A great change in appearance or character. So when you come in, you shoot, you gotta change. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, number two, second definition. The process of great and usual rather sudden change right. in the form and habits of some animals during transformation right. from an immature stage as a caterpillar. So, yeah. To an adult stage. See that? As a boss. Like. See, so we have to we have to grow, man. We can't be mature, you know, you're your you're old first of all and then you're in issue and then you're immature. You use the same, you know, kindergarten or school schoolyard tactics, you know, today. No. People have to see and know like, oh this guy is drawing man, this guy is mature. Yeah, man. You know? Well, um, you know I said from um, from an immature stage as a caterpillar. I don't stay there, the bus, like, like, um, you know, I can apply to, like, um, those celestial bodies, man, that we're gonna know we're gonna have, man. Like, like, we're in, we're in an uh, immature stage right now. Some brothers, we ain't tall like that, we ain't as strong as we physically are, you know, so, this is the immature, you know, stage, but the king of weather will be real You know what I mean? So, yeah, so metamorphosis, man, and it comes with pain. It's not an easy process. It requires you take away certain things of which is hard. So he said, I carry on saying, the elect does not find loophole in the law to justify his sin. In fact, the elect always find a way to escape from it, even after falling in the trap. You know, the elect accept rebuke, for rebuke is the only way to pluck out the old man that's very hard to uproot. All right? Very hard to Very hard, very hard to It's hard. Say, the elect also understand that rebuke is a fundamental part of love. So in other terms, rebuke is love, man. Okay? That, that sense of love in this, in this country or in this Babylonian system where, you know, you pass someone in the back, they don't worry, man. It's okay, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, don't listen to what they're saying, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep on singing, man. Wow. The Musa, that's, oh, that's Musa death. That's death. Nah, nah, nah. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? Say the Musa, 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 that's a real grabber for you. Yeah. But that one can get you in trouble in Babylon. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking to me like that? Don't talk to me like that, man. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Why are you judging me for? Say. You know what I'm saying? I've got a preset. You know what I mean? Um, this is Galatians chapter 4, 
number 16. And it says, no, I mean, yeah, but he didn't see me. Well, I don't know. Well, they saw me, but yeah, but sometimes as well, the union should be wearing a garment. I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, but they're like, this guy is like, straight. Them, them so right. When people are coming to make money and then go out and work with happy people, look at this guy, man. He doesn't need to sleep. He's always doing it. Oh, wait, this guy is crazy. And then when the money comes, yo, have you seen my own TV? Yeah, exactly. And then was all blinged up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's and that's thing thing that's what that foot was the losing, the foot was crazy. Yeah. That foot was out of his mind when he was drawing. Yeah, exactly. You're not drawing right, right now. But, you know, people in this system, they're fake, man, because the way they operate, man, like, for instance, if someone went to your college or like your school like that yeah. and, and they weren't really rated like that, people are gonna be like, yeah, I know them like that. But let's say you make like a song, you got like 20 million views on YouTube. Yeah, I know that brother, he's from my college, yeah. he's, like, he's from my school, yeah, yeah I, know, I know that brother. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's all fake. fake. Maybe they'll show the copy. No, 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 you're just saying that. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Maybe they didn't see you all. Yeah. They're asking, maybe 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 they're you know what I'm saying? A lot of things. Truth hurt, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. Oh, yeah. Truth hurts. Rebuke is not comfortable, man. Yeah. We all have to learn. Like, I have to learn to take. But even sometimes, but it's how you move sometimes. It's how you come. It's how you talk to the brother. If you want to talk to the brother, there's a way to do it. You know what I'm saying? If you talk to the brother, you get my trigger and maybe you go off. You know, so there's a way of doing it, obviously. But, you know what I'm saying? It's important, man. It's important to rebuke, man. Right? So. Right, so let's go now to um, to Matthew 22 and 14. Yeah, man, let's read the word. Man. <coughs> bring that, yeah, bring that uh, Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, and but understand not. Oh. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. So right. it's a spirit because um, the guy just came and he said you didn't see him. Like he might have not seen you, yeah. or possibly he might have ignored you, either yeah. way. But you know, scripture says, uh, uh, see in the and receive not. So, so we're basically invisible to these people, man. Yeah, there's a brother that I, I, I used to watch church with. I mean, like, a couple of times he's walked by and I think to myself, did you see me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He saw me. Yeah. He saw you, man. But, but sometimes I think he's in his old bar and he yeah. no, never saw me. Like, you know, see. Where at. See. But I saw him last week, I was like, yo, he's like, probably two times that week, I was like, Oh, that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the first, like, a couple of times where I've been here, like, yeah. it's completely more past the purchase Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. He yeah. saw you, but people are funny, man. Yeah. Once you come on the street, you will see how things are. Yeah. And these people like to see the real face of you. Because when you're in the world, you're in a bubble. Yeah. You can be with a friend 15 years, and you don't even know that he was fucking your wife. Or you don't even know he was a black person and things. But in this show, of oh, course, the violation. But in this truth, of course, but in this truth, people do it and you will see it and what I will reveal it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me personally, yeah. you can't be fake for a long time. It's true. What's that going to reveal? No, it's seven. I'm going to be wrong. This is verse 10. Make the heart of these people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Right. That's right. Man. That's right, man. You see that? Convert and be healed. So the most I <coughs> blinded a lot of our people. Man. Deliberately. Deliberately. That's why in this truth, you can't force people to be in this truth. Huh? People have to accept the truth and bring calm. We don't force people. That's why we don't say, oh, you, you, you. No. We just preach the way we preach. Yeah. If you like it, you come, we yes. inquire. Yeah. We're going to give you the game. If you don't like it, that's your business. But at the end of the day, the time will come where you will look for the men of the Lord. Me, when I wake up in the morning, I pray for that, to be strong until I see his day. That may I'll justify the hour of the sap in that day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Well, precept. So, it's that simple, man. Yeah, this is Ephesians, you know? chapter 1, verse 4. According as he has chosen us mm -hmm. in him, before the foundation of before the world. Before the foundation, see? That's important, man. That we before should the be holy. And without blame, 
before him in love. You see that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a blessing <laughs> to be in his truth. <laughs> it's, a it's a blessing <laughs> to be in his truth. Yeah. Okay? The French means the truth. That's right. You know how Drake says, I'm way up after yeah, you yeah, bless. Yeah. We are way, way up, man. You bless. We're literally you're having, you know, the um, the word that's way up, man, yeah. from the heavens, you know? That's right. You know? So we're blessed, blessed to be in this truth, man. Obviously, it's hard, I'm not gonna lie. But, it's good, man. At least, you know, the most are elevated where you understand this word. Look, we understand the world, man. We understand that we, you know, like Pac say, you know, staring at the world to my rear view, you know? Praise God. Yes, I'm saying. That's right. We look at the world for our rear view, man. Rear view, mirroring this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Variety, man. But we see it all, man. It's a blessing. That's why a lot of brothers, they get puffed up. Because he gets knowledge, knowledge not to puff up, but you have to be humble. That's the, the, the balance. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Knowledge, knowledge is high. That's right. Knowledge, knowledge is very, very high. So, um, you know, your emotion, it's like, it's like, um, it's like, because wisdom is um, richer than money. You know? So, it's like, with some people, when they have money, they feel like they're the shit now, man. They got like 10 million in their bank account. They're like, man, I'm the man now. You know? So that's, that's how you know this wisdom is, man. Are you gonna be prideful when you have this wisdom? Yeah. Or are you gonna be humble when you have this wisdom, okay. man? You see? Yeah. Yeah. That's true, man. Yeah. Sometimes the most of my blessing is with a little money, yeah. you know? And then, you know, you, you wanna see what you're gonna do, man. Yeah. Hey, the most of my blessing with money, you know? Yeah. Yes, it might tempt you with money. But when you got peace, it shows you your character. Exactly. It brings out the real you. It shows out the real you, man. It brings out the real you. That's what you really want to have a strip club. Yeah, exactly. Because you got money, you can go to, you know, someone home. Like, sometimes you see a woman, like I was at work, that's just killing my woman for some reason. She was with men, she was looking at me, she was looking at me. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, wow. And I turned my face off. She left me. Why? I don't want it. I'm like, she's the man. And then, oh, yeah, I'm man, wake up to go and smoke. She, you know, but me and her, we had like a brief conversation. Oh, this is my second home. I come here all the time. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, okay. You know what I'm saying? But she was a beautiful, even my woman, man. Oh, okay. very, but you see, things like that, you know, man, if you got money now, you might see, if you got money, you're a swag dog, you a nice car. Everybody go, it. yeah. My life, if you go, if, if you man go gym and man start wearing the, 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 the earrings and that, and well done and proper, the charm, <laughs> properly, my life. Yeah, these yeah. women, they go, every time you go there, the little girl, I'm telling you. But well, that's the temptation, though. Sure. We're going to see what we're going to do. But she tell you, oh, I'm going to man, but you know, right now, he ain't acting right. Yeah. You know, but me and we can be friends. Yeah. We're going to see how you go. And then, okay. then she walk like that, say bye-bye. She walk and let you look yeah. like, mm. yeah. I, I want to see how you going to be strong in that day, man. Yeah. So the most I would test us in a lot of things. Different That's why when the boss I put you on the low, sometimes it's annoying, but it's okay. Right? Yeah. It's okay because they avoid you. If you were so all swagged up, like when you get first, then you the truth, all swagged up or whatever, you will still have the same element of people. The most I broke you there a bit, so you can see your woman can go away. That's a good thing in a way. You go away, you will be giving them away your your behind. I know, like sharp as before. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the game anymore. No, game is That's a there. blessing. No, yeah. game is yeah. devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always buried. You know, the most I never take away, but he takes it, put it under the earth, and then he wants you to be humble, to rely on your name. That's what he did to uh, to Paul. Paul had like a, a an ailment. Oh, well. Ailment, yeah. You don't know if it was his eyes. It was a, a torn in his body. A torn. Uh -huh. Torn meaning like something in his body. Some people was it was inch back. Some people say he had like a, a vision problem. Yeah, yeah. Some people say, you know, he he had something anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah he had an issue, man. And when, when he asked the Musa to take it off, he said, you know, Musa told him, you know, my, my grace, my grace is sufficient. Oh, man. So, my grace meaning like, you know, the, the fact that you're in the truth, the fact that I got you is enough. 
You might not look a pop, you might not have this, you might not have that. You might look a bit, you know, weird. People say, this guy is the truth, he's a bit weird and that. That's the hour, put the things on you. That's your, that's your burden. When you when you've you been praying now, for the most I'm telling you, the hour, please, but take up that thing of me, man. There's something, there's something about me, you know, that makes me off key or something like that. Take it so I can be more flowing and so I can get women, I can get this and that. You see, my grace is sufficient. Wow. You know what I mean? This truth is deep, man. That's why brothers some brothers cannot take it. At some point, they sell out and they start doing other things, or they create their own righteousness, or they go to the It's Because sometimes, imagine how long Abraham had to wait. Oh, yes, bro, yes. For Isaac to come, man. Yeah, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Isaac was the first born, or second? No, no, no. Isaac was a second born. Second born. Because yeah. he got like a she smile. The woman was so impatient that she told him, go and pop the, the agar, the agar. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, Sarah was impatient, man. So you get impatient sometimes and you go and do something. You know, you know how uh, uh, Sarah is a woman, man. Yeah. No. All women are impatient. Yes. They don't see any value in this thing, man. You say them to wait and to be patient. They want to be with like, all these guys that they are uh, getting rich quick, man. Exactly. Because this, this, um, because Esau was like a um, person where he wanted uh, instant graphic. That's why he was like, I'm hungry right now, give me the meat, man. But then Jacob yeah, yeah, yeah. was a long-term perspective man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? You know what I mean? And on a deeper level, you know, there's some women, the most I got you, make, made you a unit. Yeah, for a long time, he wasn't when they having sex and this and that. You know, he wanted to keep it for the men of the law when the time came. Some women. Yeah. Some Eve, some oh, women. Yeah, yeah. In, this, in this captivity. Oh, like celibate. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they forced themselves into other people, other, other men. Yeah. They, and then they got pregnant. And then they got, they got fucked up. But they loved the men, the men left. And then now, you know, you're, you're a whole now. When you come to the, the men of the Lord, might say, no, I don't want you. Yeah. When I see a four and one manifest, but you might say, I don't want you. But the most I kept you, though, for him. Yeah. So sometimes when you when you when you dare you don't have men or you don't have women, I'm talking to all these women in the truth, yeah. you don't have men, the most is keeping you for the right time, man. Learn unique. to be patient. The word unity. Yeah, unique to someone. There's three forms of unity. Now the, the natural the not the the, the unit that was the natural one, meaning like God made him for a woman. A woman a unique woman would be a woman that cannot give children. Or she cannot bear child. You know what I'm saying? The most have made it like that. And then you've got the unit that you can be by the force of, of, of circumstances. Like for example, a lot of our people in the sub-Saharan trade, but you know, the, the Arab people, the, the Ishmaeli people cut off, cut off the, 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 the area. They probably call them men. Because they were scared, you know, Jake, when Jake enters something, it's over. That's what happened in the uh, sub-Saharan slave trade, man. They, they, a lot of so-called black people, over like a hundred million, they castrate them, they cut their nuts off, man. Yeah, man. The sub-Saharan, the Arab one. Arab, the Arab, the Arab, the Arab one. Arab did it for the European. Yeah. yeah. And they still do it now, yeah. Why, why, why? Because they're scared. I don't want yeah. Jake to enter the woman. Or oh, there will be. Yeah, yeah. It's basically what they used to do. They used to keep um, our people, like they'll castrate them and put them on like four women. No, that's a. That's a that's they used to do, yeah. But they, they, they did that dirty. And then you got a spiritual unit, which is like some of us sometimes you can be. Paul was a unit. But he didn't have no one. Me right now, I don't have women, but I don't give up. Flying F. <laughs> All I took up, but I didn't see his food like that. All you want to do is try to make, mess my life up. The last one that came, she gave me high blood pressure. I mean, I think I could not win in this campaign. How are you going to win? The last one that came, I went to the doctor, they said I had <laughs> high blood pressure, man. Come on, man. So you have to run away somewhere. But yeah, the most I will bring us to the right woman. Because right now, right, it's peak. Yeah. All right? So let's carry on and read on Matthew oh, yeah. 22, man, and 14. OK. We ain't done yet. This is Matthew. What, what, what 14, yeah? yeah? This is Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah, many are called, but few are chosen, man. 
So I don't want to call a lot of people, but there's few children. And as they move in the turbulence zone, you know when plane, I hate that time. When I take the plane yeah. and then tell me you put it up. Turbulence zone like yeah. that shit make my blood boy. But yeah, as we go into that turbulence zone, a lot of sifting will occur. So I've got a little reading going and say, if you are chosen, you know, so make your election show. What does it mean to make your election show? Doing the work, okay, but let the very gospel that you preach transform you. So as a man of the Lord, you tell people, don't commit adultery, don't steal, don't fornicate, don't lie, don't bow them before idol. So you yourself, you shouldn't do it, man. If you're going to go out there and preach, you yourself, you shouldn't do it. And, and there's a saying, there's a saying, um, if you point a finger, three fingers point back at you. Right, when you do that, that. Yeah. You do that. That one comes here. Oh, you do that. I don't hear. Yeah, you do that. Do that. Yeah. Oh. See you, yeah? See that one, guys. Like, see you? Yeah. No. And Because the Bible is like a double-edged sword. Yeah. It won't be with Paul for the camera. Or no, no, no. It's like when you speak to someone, yeah. you speak to yourself as well. If you say, repent your wicked Israelites, yeah, yeah. you're speaking to yourself. Of course. You cannot go and say people to repent, but you yourself, you don't, you're not repenting. Yeah. You don't change your way, you're not trying. Yeah. You live in sin, but you're out there preaching the word and yeah. it's to change. Okay. That's, that's a hypocrite, man. So, I keep, I carry on. I say, I say, I was saying, I say, I say, um, I say you know, doing the work, Meaning like, I say, what is what does it mean to make your election show? So I'm answering it now. Doing the work. But let the very gospel that you preach transform you, right? For example, a goon who came in this truth will communicate with people he has issue with instead, instead of bringing violence to them. So when you come in this truth, you are a goon, you used to go to man up and you know, chef them or do something with them, yeah. but now you learn to commit. You have to find means to resolve issues without violence. Oh, so violence. Yeah. Men, men, you know, who were, you know, grudge holders once, in this truth, okay, must, must learn at all costs to, look, to let go of things. So if you used to, you know, hold grudge, you know, meaning that you had, the, you had a hard time forgiving people. When you come in this shoes, you have to learn to forgive. Alright? And I say as well, a sneaky foxy brother should abandon malice once in this truth. Alright? So on and so forth. So if you're malicious in the world, you know, that's how you make your money or that's how you, you just you know, operate. When you come in this shoes, you gotta be more, you know, you know so forward. Okay, so let's read now 2 Peter 1, 2 Peter 1, you know, 10 and 11, about the election, man. We have to make our election sure, man, so the most I can have mercy, because we're all looking for mercy. We're all seeking mercy, man. You know? This is 2 Peter, chapter 1. Right. Sorry, it's lucky. This is 2 Peter, chapter 1. Right. Verse 10, mm -hmm. wherefore the brother, brethren, give diligence to make your calling an election sure. Right, give diligence. Be diligent in everything that you do. You in the work, be diligent. Trying to change your character, be diligent. You know, when you're thinking of making a move, be diligent in that. You know, all of the most high have a pattern of good conduct, like uh, Titus 2 and 7 say. Be diligent in keeping the right doctrine. Be diligent in all things, man. Fight the good fight. You know what I mean? You know, you have to make, when you come to the truth, you have to come on time. You have to make sure you come every time. You know, once you're in it, you cannot leave. Okay? You're blood in, you're blood out, man. You know? So if you do these things, you shall never fall. You see, if you're doing this thing, you shall never fall. Meaning, you always find your time with your the way. Sometimes you do fall into sin, you know? Yeah, I know. Sometimes the Bible says, that was trying to say that, 
you will fall seven times seven. And that seven times seven meaning numerous complete yeah. amount of time. Meaning like it's not even you can't quantify you can't quantify. Yeah. You cannot number the time, the amount of time you've been seen. Yeah. But if I go and second, get second yeah. address yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Second lecture is 16. For so an angel shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom right. of our Lord Yahweh Shai. See that? So making your election sure is very crucial and vital, you know, to your salvation. You know, that's the, the life source of your of your coming salvation. If you play with it, you must have to play with it as well. But like you say. If you mock it, if you mock what, I, what my, my, elect, my elect are doing right now, I will mock you when the time comes. Do you understand what I'm saying? I will mock you when the time comes. You know? If you keep it real, I will keep it real with you. If you're fake, I'll be fake with you. I mean, y'all are not fake. I will give you, I will match the energy. You know, I will match the energy. Like, life, you match the energy. You know? People act funny towards you. Yeah, you may have to act funny as well to match the energy. Um, you know? Not in the sense where you gotta, if you dead, do something to you, you have to do it back. But I'm saying, like, if someone acting in a certain way, just cut them off, man. Lord and Savior, See that? This is Second Peter, chapter one, verse eleven. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, man, exactly. Our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, our Mashiach. But he's the one that's keeping us, man. Seriously, he's the one that's keeping us, man. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, is the one that's keeping us. He's the one that's giving us the food, the one that's giving us the Mayam, the one that's giving us the, 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 the he's the one that's giving us the Tazaida, the, 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 the Maakal, okay, the Laham, the, the, the uh, uh, Tazaida is the food. Maakal is like the provision, whatever comes with it. You know, the Mayam is the water, the Laham is the bread, you know, the yam. You know what I'm saying? The wine. He's the one that gives us all of that, man. You know? Huh? Yeah. He's the one that gives us the Bayaf. Where's Bayaf? The house. He's the one that, he's the, he's the one that gives us the Hassad. Where's Hassad? Hassad. Well. Mercy. Well. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so. In the second entrance, chapter 16, and verse 75. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. Verse 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. And the guide of them who keep my commandments. See that? Precepts. So, see that? And precepts. So, you know, the most I will guide you, man. It's the best thing you should have, you have ever and been involved in. If you're serious, if you're genuine, the most I got you, man. Said the Lord power. You know, said the Lord Yahweh. That's right. Let you not know? your sins weigh you down. Let not your sin weigh you down. Meaning, do not become accustomed to your sin. Do not, you know, leave a sin like now. You know, you made it now something, like I said earlier, you create a, a loophole in the law to justify your sin, man. Don't let your sin weigh you down. Don't be continuously in the sin, man. Come out of it. Remove yourself out of the sin, man. At least try to fight. You know? And let not your iniquities lift up and And let not the iniquity don't man, like sometimes the iniquity is like a bush grows, it grows. If you don't cut the earth, what else gonna happen? They're gonna grow, 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 and they're gonna be like that. Yeah. You have to cook the herb, man. Because you're going to have a lot of snakes, a lot of also animals in there, in your backyard. Yeah, yeah. Cut it, mate. What does the iniquity mean to church? Iniquity means sin. Sin. Iniquity means an abundance of sin. Because this, this, this kingdom has an iniquity. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he has almost reached the level where you know that when you got a glass and you put water in it, yeah. after a while, on the floor. On the floor. So you don't want the, 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 the glass, you don't want the wine of iniquity in your life to overflow the glass. Yeah. Then that's, that's judgment. So sometimes you'll be sinning, but you're not getting punished because your sin may be there, but you carry on though. You're not coming out of the sin, you carry on though. Man is carrying on though. Man is still doing his thing. Man is still, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, boom! So when you got time, why you got time with men? So everything Get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? No peace. No? No. 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 You shall be ashamed for men, see that? and your own sin shall be your accusers in that see day. That? Your own sin shall be your accuser in that day. Verse 66. You know? What will ye do? Or how will you how will ye hide your sins before Yahweh and his angels? You cannot hide your sin, man. Hey, that's powerful, you know. What does it that? Yeah, Yeah, Second Ezra 16 and uh, 64. Let me read it again here. This is Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 64. Therefore, have the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. Right. Verse 64, it's like verse 65. And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. Verse 66, what will ye do, question mark? Or how will ye hide your sins before Yahweh Shimei Hashem and his angels? See that? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. That's powerful, man. Well, it's you got an angel. Right. You know, right there. That's how we don't see some of that. You see the chariot in there. And you got those who are around us that take yeah. over everything. Obviously, we're not perfect. But we gotta, they got to see that you're trying to come out. You got angels standing right here. Right, right here, now. man. There's one here. Big like that. Yeah. And there's one here. Wearing white garment. Too. Where big and it's strong. If you were to see them, you just see some dark skin men like that, strong. So you like, know what I'm wow. saying? And they're there, and once we finish down, you know, like, they call your angels, they'll come. 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 They're working for you, like everything. That's, that's the reason why we're not getting attacked because you've got angels standing here. Yeah. How so many times did that preacher say, You niggas, you I see them parking right there and for the for the you know, it's, and I say, You niggas that are, you know, staying in trouble, the most I like, gonna oh, kill you, man. I say that a lot of times, they'll look at me like that, they'll drive off. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them see me, I see a lot of them when I'm walking around, man. A lot of them I see them. You know, I I work out all the day, you know, weekly out, I'm elevated and whatever I do, I see a lot of them. I'll go over there, I see them. They ain't doing nothing. You know why? They know what's happening. But the men, the, the gun that will go against the men, the serious men of the Lord, man, man you're, you're finished. Let's say, you, even if you killed him, you're finished. You are finito. So you talk about the Lord. Yeah. You're messed up. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, if you offend one of these little ones, better than a millstone were to draw it around your neck. And you offend one of these little ones. So yeah, yeah, that's you remember that precept, yeah? So like the people that the, the hood niggas that mess around with the man below, hey, they're like, shoot, just wish you weren't born. Be careful, man. Be careful, because you don't know who you should treat rather the way. You can, we can all make mistakes. But me. If I have an issue, I'll resolve it and I'm gonna, I don't stay. But be careful how you treat people because you don't know who you, you could be treating Daniel, you could be plotting against Daniel the whole time. 
the wilderness, man, the wilderness is going to be a, 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 a moment, you know. That wilderness, huh? Hey, there's no escape, man. There's no escape. You got yourself in the truth. You are not escaping, bro. Yeah, 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 I get it, man. You are not escaping, man. You are not escaping. That's just fact, man. When I sit down, when I think about it, I'm like, yeah, this thing is serious. I think about it all the time. Yeah, man, I get it, brother. Okay, this is, this is the wilderness, man. You know? It's coming. After you gain the, the chariot, the wilderness is waiting for you. This is, um... Ezekiel, chapter 20, and I'm going to start at verse um, 32. And that which cometh in your minds shall not be at all, that ye say we will be as the heathen, as the families of the country, to serve wood and stone. Verse 33. That's the powerful God. Sometimes in the brothers and the truth, they will go and sell out. That's what the people are talking about. We will do our thing, man. We will serve you, so we will get some money. Right. And most of will let you do whatever you want. Right. He will even save you. But after all, you want to get the work with him and become. So he will get you in the, in the wilderness. That's how bad, because he ain't going to kill you easily in the fire. No, 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 no. He will save you. He will save you. He will pay you. Because he's the best boss. You know, out here, you will pay, your shall will pay you, man, for doing the work, even though you, even though you did it deceitfully, he will pay you, he will pay you by saving you out of destruction, where he will get you in the wilderness. Uh, even, the, even the devil, he pays people, man. Yeah. Even the way, so how much more? How much more? Lord. So he's going to pay you for your work. You went out there, you did the work, he's going to pay you, but he's going to get you. Well, that's the truth. Yeah, and we're talking about people that are in the truth, or that are doing it deceitfully. He might even save them from the from the destruction. They will gain the charity. Yeah. But then they will be destroyed. And you know, what he has powerful. Mean, what do you mean by destroying the world? Oh, I'm reading it now. Pay attention. So. Let me let me read this one. Yeah. Don't get it. Verse 33. As I live, save your how about she may outside power. Surely, with a mighty hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. Yeah. Verse 34. And I will bring you out of like, and I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered. Right. With a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury pulled out. Verse 35. And I will bring you into the wilderness and of the people. I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And so then, he will save us first. Right. And then he will bring us into the wilderness. So we will get into the chariot. Yeah. And then we will go into the wilderness. Right. Well, like a desert, right? Yeah, like a place, you know, right. and then we're going to be there. And there will I be plead with you face to face. And then you will plead, so we will see how we shy, and he will plead with us face to face for things that we did. The book will be open. The book, the book about your youth. Everybody has a book. You go to the book of Mayam, the book of La Fama, the book of Yazakal. Everything you did, the good deed you did, the good deed, as well as the bad deed, it will be open, and then the judgment will be done. See, go on. I'm not saying it's, it's a, a thing, but um, you know, Elder Boss said that it could likely be South America. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's there, but it could likely it's be South America. South America. Yeah. Um, verse 35. Now, let me read verse 34. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the country wherein you are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm. And with fury pulled out, right. verse 35, and I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people. And there will I plead with you face to face. And there will I plead with you face to face. To plead me you judge me. Kill, basically. Like as but I depend, pleaded depend. with your father See? in the wilderness. So in the wilderness, in the ex in Exodus, he killed all the 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 the, the, the rebellion. The rebellion is only the generation of Caleb, or of Caleb, you know, Caleb, Caleb which is Caleb, and then and what's his name, Joshua, Yahweh Shai, because his name is Yahweh Shai too. Yeah, of Joshua the land of Yahweh Egypt. Shai. So I plead with you 
So we have privilege. Yeah, our power. Safe you have our power. Yeah. Verse 37. Uh-huh. And I will cause you to pass under the rod. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, meaning like he will initiate you to become the ruler of this of, 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 of this earth. He will give you the tools to become the ruler of this earth. You and know? I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. And he will bring so he will make the, he will put down the covenant in us yeah. so we, we can be sinless. Yeah. You know? Yeah? Verse 38. And I will purge out from among you. And I will purge out from among you the rebels, the rebels, and them that transgress and them that transgress against me, and those who do the work deceitfully. So that's what's talking about the people two thirds. The, the two thirds is Zechariah 13 yeah. and then uh, eight. Yeah. Right. You done with that? I will bring them forth out of the countries. You see that? Country where they sojourn, you see that? and they shall not enter into the land of see Israel. That? So after you get all the work and everything, all you to not enter the, the, the kingdom. So you have a taste of what salvation is by going riding into the, uh, the chariot, and you not, not enter the kingdom. And you come back and the Lord rank in Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahweh Bahashem. So you dedicate all your life to this ministry only to be fair, man. Scary, man. And we want to be win. We want to win. Like you do in next an exam. We want to be in, 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 the, in the least of the of the successful guy, but the one that that passes. Yeah. You mentioned. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, it's fight, man. Fight. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah. You know how you go to to the to team to lose weight. Yeah. Eventually, you lose weight. Over time, you know, over time. So it's the same thing. But it takes you motivation to get up and go. And we can have the same thing. I should apply the same principle. You want to change, you want to grow, you don't want to stay on the same level. When you get to when you get to, when you get to a certain level, you have to start to fast. When you get to the fasting, you will see what helps you. You know? Be more strong. You know? So we're gonna carry on. So I say, doing the um, I say. Uh, doing the work is not enough. Posting videos seven times a week doesn't solely guarantee salvation. Get some rock 37 and 19. Get Romans 2 and 21. Almost done. So rock 37 and 19. You get Romans 2. You know Romans 2 and 21. 21. This is the book of Sirach. Chapter 37 and verse 19. No, no. There is one that is wise and teacheth many. Right. There, is, there is one that is wise and teacheth many. Some o'clock, we go out there, we preach, we go to channel, people listen to it, things like that, right? We talk to people, uh, they do usual life. So, technically, you're considered to be a wise man. Carry on. And yet, it's unprofitable to himself. And yet, it's unprofitable to himself. What does he mean to himself? Meaning, after the camera is closed, you're into sin. After the camera, the camera is, is I mean, the, the, the camera is off, sorry, instead of closed, the camera is off, you're a nigger, you know, you're a wolf, you're, you're backbiting, you're gossiping, you know, all of that. The old man is still there, you know. Verse 20, there is one that shows wisdom in words and is hated. No, but that one is not on. Yeah. There is one that showed wisdom in his words and his hate is. Yeah. He shall be destined for all free so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring that, bring, bring, bring. And your hate is You know, there's, there's people that you know, they, they have wisdom. They hate it, they're the ones that have no wisdom. And when hate is coming, because the world doesn't accept the uh, presumption. But yeah, I understand. That part, that part, that part, yeah, yeah, yeah that part. Yeah. So you can take the little part and yeah. make it because right. it's true, it's very dense. Yeah, bring Roman 2 and 20. Roman 2 and 21. Yeah, okay. so much. Um, um, <coughs> this is Romans chapter 2, verse 21. Yeah, no. Thou therefore which teaches, teacheth us another, teachest thou not thyself. So you say what? Speak again. 
Romans chapter 2 verse 21 Thou therefore which teachest another teachest thou not thyself There he is telling people oh, do not commit uh, murder but you yourself you are a murderer You know? You know? Do not lie but you yourself will lie Do not be proud but you yourself will be proud You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be careful man as you teach Teach yourself you don't want to be a nipple you, know, you don't want to find loopholes you shoot to justify your sin. You know? You done with that? Thou that preaches, a man should not steal, so yeah. thou steal. Exactly. You tell people not to steal, but you yourself, behind the scene, you steal, man. Come on, man. That's not good. Yeah, bring that one. Read Psalms 101. I'm um, start verse 3. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. My forward heart shall apart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Right. Read that again, brother. This Psalms chapter 101 and verse 3. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Right. So when you shoot, you gotta hate the wicked man. The wicked man. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be a spirit where the brother you know brother seen for a while. You gotta be more looking. If you carry on that, you know how you know holy together. I mean I'm not perfect but shit. I ain't gonna be with you all the time for the spirit to jump on me. This is real, man. Show me that you know you, you fight, so I can be inspired by you. I want to. I want you to inspire me. You know. I was just like, you know what I mean. But we must, we must march on, man. Right. So now we're gonna read. Now let me read something quickly. Say, you know, it is not falling in sin. Okay, that is the main problem. Well, you should avoid to the best of your ability sin, but if you fall, you have to come out of it. This is the time for us to be spiritual. You gotta be spiritual, man. You gotta understand the spiritual implication of sin in our life. How it takes us away, it takes us away from being, you know, vibrant like vibing or vibrating to the level where the most high want us man. How it keeps us down man. It keeps you, it makes you like it's like your your you got handicap. It's like you're disabled in the spiritual way. You know you don't flow like you're supposed to flow. That's right. You know? That's right. So we're gonna read Ephesians 1. Ephesians 1 verse 1 to 3. We're gonna read the word man. You know? Gonna read a beautiful word. Ephesians 1, verse 1, 3. Hey. <clears throat> this is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, by the will of Yahweh, to the saints, which are See, at to Jesus, the saints, man. To the saint, the saint means the elect. You know, the elect are the one that receive certain blessings, certain spiritual blessings. Not everyone in truth is an elect. Not everyone in the truth is an elect. I repeat, not everyone in the truth is an elect. Wake up, man. Open your eyes. Broski, wake up. You better wake up. Okay, to the saints which are at Ephesus. Ephesus, Ephesus. Ephesus. And to the faithful in Jehovah Shai. Right. Grace, chapter 2. Grace be to you right. and peace uh -huh. from, from Jehovah our Father uh -huh. and from Jehovah Shai. Right. Verse 3. Right. Oh, sorry. Verse 2. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Yahweh Shai. Right. Verse 3. 
Bless be the bless be the God, the Father of our Lord Jehovah Shai, who have blessed us Amen. with all spiritual blessings. With all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In heavenly places. In Christ. In, in Amashiach. In Amashiach. Yeah, say Amashiach. Because when you say Christ, yeah. that's like that you are that I you are seeing spirit. Right. You say Amashiach. You say good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bless be Yahweh, the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. We have blessed us. We have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. That's right. All right. So now, yeah. it's important to be spiritual. But when you're spiritual, you've got discerning. You can discern spirit. Yeah. Most have revealed you things. In your dream, when you awake, when you read the Bible, when you meditate, when you feed, your spiritual understanding the importance of having a good character. So basically, you work on your character to change your way. So it's a poor life for us to be spiritual. Because what's coming, what's coming is here. What's coming is very, very serious. They're gonna try to kill us. Yeah. They're gonna have a, like a, a, a vicious rumors about us. The media will be talking about us. They will be we will be called preachers of hate. We will be like uh, speakers of hate. You know, hateful group. You know, group of hate. You know, terrorists. You know, we, they will turn people against us, man. So we gotta be spiritual for us to be able to withstand those times, man. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna read one more verse. We're gonna say shallow walk. Now we're gonna read. So, 119 and 13. You know, let's read that. Right. And let's turn to this and say shallow walk. 13. So, 119 and verse 13. You know? I have so many notes, sometimes I don't even finish it. Okay. This is Psalm chapter 119, verse 13. Bring that out. With my lips have I declared all judgments of thy mouth. Right. Read again. Read again. This is Psalm chapter 119, verse 13. With my lips have I declared all judgments of thy mouth. Right, so the most I we just mouthpiece, man. So we're gonna speak the truth regardless. But yeah. well, watch what you're saying, saying as well, man. Huh? But well, watch what you're saying. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yes. You can't be saying on corrupted things, I mean corrupted things, on unwise things, you know? But we're gonna have to preach the truth, man. And the truth hurt people. When you speak the truth, people don't like you. But we're gonna speak the truth regardless, man. Okay? Now, like you read earlier, I might I might become your enemy because I speak the truth. Now, like the brother say, yes. the way to speak, brother, is a way to say things. You yeah. gotta learn how to speak is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very important. So but all of that is, is the learning. You know, that's yeah. why we go to the Bible, the Scripture, scripture which is what was written for our learning. So hopefully, brothers, we were edified. You were edified by the grace of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. We shall be back. You know, next Saturday, next Shabbat, to preach the gospel. You know, we can and we can. All right. So we will turn today. We will give our praise. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, Yahweh, 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 You know, Shalom to the house of Israel. Abad Babal, man. Abad Babal, man. You know? Abad Babal, man. Abad Babal, man. Shalom.